Is it made the film? There's a light in the back. I just noticed that. Yeah. The blue light. Oh, it's on not the side, on the there? side, yeah. Yeah. So whatever you say, right Hello. now there's no followers, but uh, oh, okay. it's also going to be recorded. Oh, neat out. What's it called again? So this is periscoping. Periscoping Corey P's BB-8 robot. idea from the beginning that the magnets would be what would need to be yeah we all we all kind of figured that there's the one guy that actually made a ball balance a ball balancing head so it's all like like a lot of high-tech computer stuff in the in the dome yeah. it's just balancing on a, a ball uh, but I think it's made very obviously hard to control it's very high-tech uh, mine's as low-tech as a capacity could possibly imagine like this really is you know a remote controlled Car inside of a ball kind of thing, right? With magnets coming up off a thing that right. holds it all together. But as you were saying before, the the unintended coolness of it all is just how those wheels control the movement of the head. We're in Frederick, yeah, exactly. Frederick, New Brunswick. And what's the total weight in the body that you had to put in there? Um, there's 10 pounds of batteries and then 15 Hi pounds from of Nova barbells. Scotia. Yes, it is amazing. Plus the motors. Um, so I, I think that in total, it probably weighs around 65 pounds. Corey P. made it. If you go to my Twitter feed, Dave at Cogs, that's D-A-V-E-A-T-C-O-G-S, you'll find a link to a Facebook video of the same thing. And we're here in Corey's house. So all of the other droids that you've built, they've garnered some attention, but nothing like Hello, this. Hello, happy right? man. Yeah. I mean, R2 is always popular, but this, for some reason, I think it's because it's a ball. Yeah. I think it's because it's like, everybody wonders how, how it's possible. Yeah. You know, everything else is just like, oh, there's wheels in the bottom. This is the one that's going around. Right. right. Nobody can quite figure out how BB works. Someone asked you the question, Corey, how much does it cost? I think I've got around 1400 in this, this one. About 1400 into this so far. <laughs> yes, dollars. <laughs> Canadian dollars. It is awesome. Thank you, Francis Head ETI. Person here asked, Corey, can you explain how it works? Hi from Paris. Uh, there's magnets. Um, there's basically just a dry, reg regular sort of drive system, uh, and then uh, it, there's a basically a neck that's inside of that, and then at the top of the neck is magnets, and then on the bottom of the dome is also an uh, equal set of magnets. So it basically draws uh, the head to the ball, and there's small wheels underneath the dome that sort of allow it to rotate in any direction. And there was a question about how it's controlled, so I'm just going to pan back and here we have the control unit. Yes, Bill, it is cool. <laughs> and as Corey moves those thumb knobs, this is not sold. This is a one-off that Corey made for himself. Yes, J. Marble, it is very neat. Gabriel Henton says, good job. Okay. Yes, I'm jealous too. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> no, Andrew K., you can't get one. So, 
Uh, Hello, Dave Mazzaro. Mazzaro. How are you? Huffington Post, Globe and Mail, Daily Gleaner, uh, a blog. <laughs> a blog. Where else has it been? Yes, this is the video some of you have seen on Facebook and Globe and Mail and such. So how many times have you seen the movie so far? Just Only two so far. Yeah? Yeah. I want to go again. And where would you rank it? Seven. If you take the nostalgia factor out of the yeah. original series, the which will always, be, yeah. will always be special because of that nostalgia factor, if you take that out of it, number one. I think maybe it, I don't know maybe after I see it a few times and the novelty wears off it yeah. might be oh you know what that was still a great one too but it's definitely definitely up there yeah yeah so certainly above the latter three oh yeah no question three. no yeah. like the, the most recent ones yeah right. no yeah. question at all at all someone asked does it move on sand have you had a chance to I try haven't that tried yet? it but uh, my friend who has one um, he has had his in the sand and it and it does. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, You've run yours over grass. I ran mine in the out in the grass and the leaves and stuff, and it, and it worked. Um, so yeah, it, it should in theory. I, would, I don't think it would go up a big hill or anything. Uh, probably on the most level sort of sand possible, but it should, yeah. You said it weighs 65 pounds. So. Yeah. So it could potentially get stuck in, in deep sand or something, too. But. Right. Matt's wondering if it can do the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. <laughs> it's not that fast. It's actually pretty slow. Paradox Planet. This is a one-off model that Corey made because he wanted to. Oh, that is so cool. Just do a close-up on, on the camera. How long did it take you to really master the, uh, the control of it? It's very, some people say, can I try it? And I'm like, no, it's yeah. because it's such fine movements, right. like really is fine movements. And his head will fall off. If you, if you go too fast or whatever, his head will actually fly off and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. and that's what I want to keep working on is try to get it so he's a little more smooth running. Right. And I'm afraid if I actually get him running too smooth, he might lose some of his personality. Yeah. Yes, the way you can make it turn and twist. Yeah. There's something about that kind of, there's a affable klutziness yeah. about it, you know? So how about you bring it up nice and close? Yes, Andrew K., it is awesome. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.